Oh, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. Tonight, let me tell y'all something. It ain't nobody in here right now, because there is some really fabulous lives going on in this sector. So I'm going to paint penises. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why in a second. But first, let's get Miss Lynn up because her little live is hot, honey. And I'm going to hear it. And I want to paint penises at the same time. No, I know that's what it is. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Is that okay. how you took it? I'm saying, I'm asking a question. Is that how you took it? Oh, for sure. For sure. Why is everybody else I'm, I'm listening to like Kicking It With Lynn's so live. And I'm going to paint penises. Today we are talking about. Oh no. Hi, Maureen. Maureen, I got so much going on. I'm trying to listen to Lynn, kicking it with Lynn. I'm listening to her live. I'm about to draw some penises. I'm explaining to you why I'm drawing penises. Why am I so... Hold on. My lighting is messed up. <laughs> No, no. Are you saying comments directed at us? That's what I mean. Wait, what are you saying here? Com comments in general or directed oh, at us? Oh, see that? <laughs> <laughs> Why does this make it dark? Oh, no. I say what I got to say, and I keep on moving. Okay. Oh, Lord. How often? All right, let me see if I move this box. I mean, you just put it right there. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's see if I can move this box. Yeah. Why are you making this dark? Oh, it is so hard to be your own producer. Hold on now, y'all. I got a message, honey. Just ignore. Let's talk about the power of the penis. Oh, I'm so crazy, child. I got a damn. I got an easel. Give me, come here, easel. Come your ass here, easel. Mm, Y'all need to see over there. It's a little junky. So anyway. Why is this part? Y'all gonna have to. Y'all can come back and watch the replay once I get my life together over here. We talking about the power of the penis. Cause I swear we need more penis in this sector. We need. We need. We need more penises in this sector. I think if we had a little more penises, and if people in this sector had access. To more penises, they wouldn't be so uptight. You know what? Look at this. I am listening to kicking it with Lynn. Boy, stop capping. He been upset this today. He been. He's had enough. He's had enough. See, this is how y'all know I'm not a real artiste. And this is this is art therapy, but I am not an art therapist. As a matter of fact, the people in my life who are real art therapists, they probably gonna cuss me out for even acting like I'm over here doing art therapy. Art therapy is a serious therapeutic art form. Let's just get that straight. It is a serious therapeutic art form. As a matter of fact, if I was to go into therapy, I would go, if I needed therapy, 
Hey, here for the tea. I'm listening to Lynn. Girl, you listening to Lynn's chat? <laughs> I'm listening to Lynn's chat and I'm drawing penises. Now, listen, I have to tell you the story about why I draw penises like this. And then I'm going to get into drawing another one. So, here's my penis. You know, there's a real thing called penis envy. That some women envy men's penises. And um, I don't know the basis of that, but I know I kind of have it. Because when I was younger, when I discovered that men and boys had penises and how they pee peed in the toilet, I was peeing like that. I was like, oh, this is awesome. This is great. I think I have, I do too. I have penis envy. <laughs> I seriously have penis envy. They're great. And they're very powerful though. Let me get my notes before I get off. First of all, I want us to all draw a penis because I want to manifest penises in this. I want to manifest penises in this sector. I want to manifest penises in this sector. Because I think if some of the people in this sector was around more penis energy, if it was around more penis energy, I think it would be much cooler over here in this sector. Now, our leader, she got penis. Here's my little paint thing. I'm listening to Miss Lynn in the background. I think Miss Lynn is getting a little frustrated with all of us, too, over here in this sector. She tried to be helpful and tried to bring people together, and I think people were kind of getting on her. Too, but you know how it is. So, the power of the penis. Now, the power, the penis can be good and bad. We all know that. We have all had bad ones. And I don't mean the physical, how physical they physically look. I'm talking about the mentality of the person who owns the penis. The mentality of the penis holder. We got to be careful with that. You know, because every man has a penis, but every penis is not good. Wait a minute, let's listen to boy stop capping. What he, what he over there yapping about? So while I'm painting, and if this is boring to you, I get it. I get it. Because if you ever go into art therapy and really have a real art therapist, it's going to be some really groovy ambiance. It's going to be quiet. It's going to settle your mind. And you're just going to paint, honey. You're going to paint. You're going to use other mediums. You're going to touch and feel soft. It's going to it's going to open up all of your senses. And it's going to open up your mind. And it's going to really help you start to deal with whatever issues you're having in your life. Once again, I am not an art therapist. And if my art therapist friends are watching this, don't call me getting on me. I know I'm not an art therapist. Don't do that. But let's get into this painting and let's listen to Lynn. This is kicking it to Lynn. She's on live right now. And I'm being nosy. They're going to see how far they can go until somebody really stop them. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Miss Lynn, a lot of people come on, come on to be messy. A lot of people just come in to be messy. That's the right. whole goal. To be messy. They'll, they'll be messy when they come. They'll go away and still come back messy. They don't even come back right. They just still come back the way they left. Messy. It's just some people go to be messy. Like their whole goal is just to be messy. See, a lot of people get on here and, under, and, and see that messy gets more they want to go. 
Ms. Lynn's husband is so wise. He's one of those penises that you want. A wise man, loyal. That's what you want to look for. My husband is the same way. When you look at the when you look at their channel, they get the same views every day. Sometimes women, we get those penises and it turns us ugly. You've been messy for a year and it still ain't work. I don't even like the way this is coming out. I can't see the balls. Yeah. I can't see the balls. That's why I should ah, I don't like this one. Next. Sometimes this happens, y'all. Sometimes this happens. Let's get rid of this. I don't like you. Run this like y'all do. But the times that I do, the, the, the negative people that I see, it seems like they do it just for, for nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say when I get on here, I don't get on here. I don't get on here. I don't get on here to be messy. I don't even really get on here. I, when I get on, oh, I like Miss Lynn's I, color. I rapper, so I color. But you know, if somebody wants to you know, talk about something, I'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And ne never am I coming for nobody or nothing like that. You know, I just want to understand. You know, we just be talking about it because we want to know where it all generates from, where it comes from, and why is it necessary. But you know, the people girl, a lot of these women and is hurt on this they hurt women. They hurt women. And a lot of them have been hurt by the penis. Hallelujah. 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 I see my blessings in my face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know my blessings on the way. Hey girl. Poor guy. I'm just painting penises and manifesting more positive energy in this world. Some people you hit them with a the yeah. Them. Some people you just turn your back on them and they shut down. Some people need more positivity in their life. Yeah. More yeah. male Thank energy. This family. this this sector is so I'm full of y women, yeah, you know hurt saying, women, too good. many. Like my, like my, like my husband said. Everything and sometimes we need that male dominant you know, energy to, and move to calm us you down know, as women. And, and you know what? Give us purpose. Say, uh, uh, you a snitch or they might call you whatever. But and I'm listening to Miss Lynn kicking it with Lynn. You have a channel. Sometimes you just need to go to YouTube way. Okay? You need to go to YouTube way. So nothing, nothing. Because they don't need to be on here because they're going to keep on pushing people. You know what I'm saying? They're going to keep on doing it. I'm just drawing. You know what I'm saying? We just don't need them. Well, let's get the, let's get the troublemakers up off of here. Mm -hmm. Report their channel. Just saying. You know, get rid man, of them. I agree 100% with that. They do not need mm -hmm. to be around. Get rid of them. You do a part of them. They will. You know, more people be like, you know, I, don't, I ain't going to report them. I ain't going to say this to here. <laughs> Come over here messing with Miss Lynn if you want to. Now, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to go to, I have people say I'm going to go to the legal route. Right. I don't have time to go right. to legal route for these it's people it's in this sector. I just then manifest penises the in side. their life. That's all. Okay. Girl, you know, girl, girl, ladies, you know when you got a good I'm man, especially and if it's a new relationship, you ain't got time for all the foolishness, honey, because you're trying to satisfy this situation over here, honey. And I'm not talking about the physical part of the penis. You got to have that man who's got the physical attributes of a good. Shut up! for the tea. Girl, you right. You right. You right. Let's just turn him into a goldfish. Listen, y'all. We ain't going to go by this one. This one too fat. Don't nobody want a fat penis with a bunch of girths anyway. Bam. All right, here for the tea. Didn't like this one. Let's go. Let's rip out of here. The, I think I got to go skin. Okay, 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 okay. Let me focus. Let's focus. Girl, you know that's Lucinda talking. For example, voice up, Kappa, you have your little team, right? And you ride hard for Blacker and she ride hard for you. Right. But you may not agree. You guys may not agree with something amongst yourselves, mm -hmm. and and in your disagreeing, other people may. Agree There's a reason why I draw penises like this, and I'm going to yeah. tell y'all in a minute. 
and she stands with her comment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell. All right, let me read so Miss Lynn's comment. Attack everybody else when it's her comment, and even if you don't agree with it, you get what I'm saying. Like, why create a whole issue that's not there because right. some agree and some don't? Yeah. Uh, See, with my side of town, we different. No, I'm just saying in general. Like, regardless of your side of town, I'm just why, why is my light doing this? And Others may say, well, I don't agree with this and I don't agree with that. I have another light a here. Problem. You know, it becomes right. bigger than what it is when it's just a, a disagreement between two but, people. But another thing is... <coughs> okay, y'all, here I go. Because here for the tea said say, that one looked like a goldfish. Let's go. And Lynn, I, can't I should make my husband come down here strict so I can really see a penis and that maybe I can draw it better. I can't just be one side. Okay, hallelujah. Okay, I say not when hard, but what if I be like, well, you did say this. Hallelujah, like, hallelujah. Say this. We are going to see the king. Oh my you gosh, I miss church. Pick a side and just stand on one, like, when they both wrong. I'm too. And you know what? That's what I like about you, Boy Scout Captain. You be at people's eyes. I they really do. Because I be watching from the bushes sometimes, y'all. I do. But sometimes I just don't want to get in the chat. I don't want to be a person. I just want to watch from afar. But mm -hmm. they'll put boy stop capping on the on the on the spot. They'll be like, boy, boy stop capping. What did you you said this or you said that? Here for the tea. You listening to Lynn? What he said. It's like, yeah. you know, he, I, I, boy I, stop capping is on the I piano. Said, I tell you why I said it. That's being real. He let you know. The professional, said, panner, the professional panel panel. The professional panelist is on the panel. Boy stop capping. Yeah, and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> when you make up stuff, you know, and, and try to throw the, the, what it, the, the shade out there, a lot of the mixed up lies, you know. Hey, I can't, I can't believe how I can't believe I'm listening with you. Oh, okay, let me be quiet. Somebody said you should oh, go back to Michelle when she said you should you should be able to disagree with your choice. She said, "Ooh, now you asking me to go up." <laughs> I can't go back up. How do you go? Up? You gotta tell everybody they you gotta tell everybody they wrong. You can't that that's what they call picking a side. That's too you sad. Tell everybody they're wrong. My nigga, you wrong, my nigga, you wrong. Both y'all wrong. I ain't picking no side, my nigga. Right. I have you know, I, 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 I have had I have had plenty of situations. You right. I know that's yeah, right. Too thick, too some left. They're both wrong and they won't be you know what? I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Co-sign with them on, on their wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, wait a minute, what'd you say? When I was in pre-K, right? I had to be about four or five years old. Let me turn Miss Lynn down for one second so I can tell y'all this story. Okay, so I was in pre-K, about four or five years old. And I remember, you know how you sit at these little, you know, like little round tables or whatever to eat your little snack? I was at the table, me and my two friends, and my one friend, I'm gonna say his name, Timmy. Timmy said, my real name, let's say back then my name was really psychology. He said, psychology, look under the table. Honey, when I looked under the table, Timmy don't pull down his pants and his drawers. And all I could see was his little dingling and his penis. Now, up to that point, y'all got to notice, I had never in my life seen a penis. I grew up with sisters and my dad. And of course, I'd never seen my dad's penis. I thought he had a coochie like the rest of us in the house. But when that damn Timmy, I was shocked. Girl, I was shocked. I was like, what in the, what is that hanging off of Timmy's? First of all, not only did he have that stick, he had two little balls. I was shocked. It got worse. Then Timmy gonna tell me to pull down my panties. Pull, pull down your panties. That was when that, that was the beginning of me being a fast ass. Girl, I pulled my panties down so fast. 
Next thing I know, Timmy looking at my cooch. <sighs> Girl, ever since then, I've been obsessed with penises. I draw them everywhere. But I draw them like a five-year-old. Trauma. This is how I draw them. And I never, I never got past drawing them like that. And I draw them everywhere. Everywhere. I still do to this day. But it started back then with that damn Timmy. The power of the penis. I can't tell you nothing else that happened to me when I was five years old. But that memory is burned in my long-term memory and in my brain. Ever since then, I've been obsessed with penises. Now, don't get me wrong. Not to the point where I was ever a whore. But I know my way around a penis. I'll tell you that. Daddy, if you want... I'll make sure I tell daddy he can't watch this one. It's to the point now I got to tell my father which of my videos he can watch. I got to try to put something. I might do a video like, I might put a, like a thumbs up in the corner of my videos. That means like, daddy, you can watch it. All right, I'm going to stop talking now. Let's listen to Lynn and watch me paint penises. Are you a manipulator? Are you a liar? Are you full of deceit? Well, this is what hey, you on. I think I might go to the, the casino. Riding with the devil. Oh. You got the truth. You rolling with the truth. You know what I'm saying? You rolling with the But I'm going to have to sneak out the house and my ugly will act funny. Right to me, Where you're going. You know, this deceit. Because he ain't going to want me to leave. And don't leave. Don't go out this late by yourself. You're rolling the wrong way. Penis power. Trying to, trying to take away my damn fun. And you know, people get on here. I don't know how some people sleep at night, get on here doing the stuff that they do. I know that's right, Miss Lynn. I have a same question, Miss Lynn. Do they sleep at night? Because God will see everything. A lot of people get on here doing this garbage because they don't know anything else. Because they refuse to learn anything else. They refuse to learn to better themselves. It, do it doesn't matter what it's too I wide. say. He say, boy, South Kappa say, he said to say, at the end of the God, at the end of the day, God sees you. When you see the vengeance, and what he say, vengeance shall be mine. And when he bring that vengeance down on that person that's messing with his child, child of God, that he might have his hands on. Oh, you go. I believe in voodoo. I wish, I wish, I wish I could have seen some of the things that some of the people went through. I'll give you all a little secret. But how do you know who does? If somebody is really, really bothering you, I mean, really, really bothering you. Somebody told me this voodoo person. All you got to do, and this works, is take their name like they're bothering the shit out of you. Take their name, write it on a tiny little piece of paper, fold it up as many times as you can. You know, Put it in the sole of your where, shoe. What are you getting? What are your hard times for? Is it because and walk, of some of the walk, walk it out, 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 walk, and just walk, 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 walk. My hard ways now are nothing but. Check on that paper in a few days, and when that name is gone from that paper, that person is gone from your life. Now I ain't saying they're gonna die. You know, we ain't trying to kill nobody, but they're going to leave you the hell alone. You gotta now, if that one don't work, come back to me. I got some more for you. And of course, karma. Karma is always going to knock somebody off. They shit. Black shit. Yeah. Every day turned around. His head. You would meet somebody with giant balls. Like, ugh. You real ballsy. But you know, the, 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 the thing you know, about it is, it is, is, it. is, why is it that person's Karma's good. business to put somebody else's truth or lies out there? I know about that one, P. My mama told me so something else. See, does it work, Martina? It's worked. I've used that before. I'm like, 
Exactly. Lord, get this penis out of my life. Like, it's good and it's bad all at the same time, Lord. Please remove this man. If you catch me up as a liar, then you know I'm a liar. You know what I'm saying, but uh, you ain't caught me up in no lies, so you know what I'm saying. If somebody, somebody, I remember one time I did that. Liam made a video about a video about two boys. <laughs> this is a chicken. This is like you ain't never seen the video, boy. Y'all gotta, gotta, gotta remember, I was. I'm still in my head. I still have. I still have the Timmy penis in my head. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even do that because I would go look for the video. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to take I a few go sessions go look with my and art what, therapist what, what said, friend, Amanda. If you're watching this, I I need, I've been out. told you I needed to book a session. You think I'm playing? Like, you know like, I need to book a session with her. That you get what I'm saying? That you snapped off on. That's why I don't do that. I'm going back to go look for the video. This is time stamp. Okay, oh, that wasn't nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? She was just being honest. Like you know what I'm saying? At that point. <laughs> You know, a lot of times people can come in on the end of a conversation, everything that's right. over, all the conversation was about, and then twist it, make it back. Exactly. Aunt the team, yeah, everything works. See? Honestly, some folks just don't know how to read comments. For real, thank you, yeah. Kevin. Let me see you in the comments. My aunt had a, one of my aunts had a situation so real bad like that. A real bad situation. Girl. Some people just don't know how to read comments. Yeah. The voodoo had, had to be done backwards. to get really it was to get rid of her, to change her mind about him. Like, but if you know how to read the comment and you know a person is at and somebody and talking to somebody, listen, I'm going to do a little something it, else. Don't make it personal and make it yours. Make it yours when it's a whole conversation between somebody else. Right, somebody dipping in somebody else's business. Exactly. Like, people do, and people, and people do. Who said this should get her own channel? In this, in, in this sector of YouTube, people do that a lot. Like you could say something there, somebody say, it, it, "Boy, I wasn't even talking about you." Like you yeah. get what I'm saying? Who said this should really get her own channel? Because she enjoys this talking. Why not have your own channel? It was similar to what you said, but hey, not the know, walking part. To me. My bad. I can't see my phone too little, low key. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. If you put the like, name in your shoe though. and just walk, yeah, walk, I mean, walk. You know, I've had people, I have. Still too fat. I know, trolls, Still too fat. <laughs> That's what they are, trolls. <laughs> tell somebody else, oh. Maybe if I Liz, use. Uh, she recorded. Sometimes you this, need this to use. Okay, I'm gonna use told, this for. I have recorded uh, somebody's whole live. I mean, oh, let's just be real. Who gonna record somebody's whole live? Man, Miss Lynn, you got people. Who said that, Miss Lynn? Man. Said you recorded somebody's whole live. Okay, I ain't gonna record nobody's whole live. It's in First of all, I just I, I just got enough space to record my video. But, but but I'm just saying, you know, it was a lie. And the person that lied on me and said it, and and the other person had said, uh, yeah, I saw it or something like that. No, you know you didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then, and then had the nerve to put a time stamp on it. So I went back to the video, didn't see it, y'all. Didn't see it. Because I, I know you. I just, Lynn, they lied on you, girl. But what I did say, I repeated. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a power to repeat anything that I said. I exactly. Say I definitely but think I'm going out tonight. People get mad when you say something that they said when they said it. You said it. So he could take me. So why are you mad about it? Oh, go with you me. You made a whole lie about it. Kyrie! Come on, now. Oh, you were called out on what you said. I'm just saying, I'm just boy, what you out. said. You mad because I repeated what you said? You ain't got no problem and you can tell anybody what you said. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But you know what I said? Think about on YouTube, but they come to me and ask me, well, did you? Did you? Yeah, I said it. You know, but you know, yeah, what you know what a lot of people, you know what a lot of people do? I've learned and I've seen it and I watched it. A lot of people will side with who they want to side with. <laughs> Is Lucinda yeah, still because, beefing uh, with um, comedian you know, Michael I'm Allen? Not. And you got your certain little sector that, oh, I don't like them because Miss Lynn don't like them. <laughs> they still beefing? And go from panel to panel, chat to chat, 
and follow people and harass them. And knowingly, that's bullying. Knowingly, knowingly, you ganged up, grouped up to go harass somebody and then play innocent. It's throwing rocks and hide your hands. It's throwing stand rocks on. and hide your hands. Oh and then want to say, well, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I did nothing wrong. You know what you did when you did it. So don't come back over here playing innocent. I know you that's right. purposely ganged up and went traveling with a group of other people, being messy and attacking other folks. That's bullying. That's yeah. bullying. Call it because when you apologize, you need to apologize the correct way. A pack of women attacking other women. You know why they do that? Because they lacking some of this. They lacking this in their life. And you can have this, but you may not have a good one. And I'm not talking about the physical part. The physical goodness of a penis. I'm talking about that mind, body, and soul, honey. When you find that, that mind, body, and soul is on point with this. I'm just saying, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke from nobody on YouTube. Oh, okay, I got to You gonna sit on the left? Uh-uh. I got to <laughs> Mr. Tampa. Dealing with. You see, y'all see, he trying to sit on me and stuff. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Good, good, good. In real life. Uh -huh. not, not see, Miss Lynn happy because she got this in her life Somebody on a regular do. basis. That's she got this. Uh, gave me headaches. A good this. You know from what we can say. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have to deal with you. If you go cause me grief and heartache, you know what? I'm gonna love you from afar. Or, or if you're not a relative, I, I don't even have to fool with you at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to I fool have to with you if you're a relative. Thank you, thank you Regina. So trust and believe that. <laughs> you know, you need me. So you need me for something. I'm gonna be there for you. We can't hang out. We can't conversate. Uh -huh. That's, That's true, Mr. T. That's true, Mr. T. I'm kind of screwed over, y'all. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Mr. Don't T and, and Lynn about to fall right off this couch. They kill me. Right? Because I use this to make it like dinner. Should I add veins? Should I put veins? Hey, Ben, you know what? You got a lot of insects. You got a you got a lot of people. You know why I keep it on side with a lot of people, even when they may be correct, because you're doing too much trying to convince me. Like, stop trying to convince me. Like, let me see. Like, you trying to convince me with your work? Like, nah. Let me see. That's what's going on. All right, I got a question. I got a question for everybody on here. And, and, and hopefully everybody can answer it. But oh, stop it. It's a simple question. Sometimes people just talk too much, period. Let's just get defended from my opinion. Not me. Go ahead. Okay. Look at this. If, if, if. No. What is it? Hey, love angel. That, 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 that makes you want to talk to you more. Is it a lie or is it the truth? Would you, lie, would you argue for the truth? Thank you, Lee. You don't argue about a lie. What would you What would you argue quicker for? Somebody lying on you, or somebody telling the truth? Somebody lying on Next me. Lie, lie. That's what they. That's what they. they yeah, they, somebody they, lying they lie. on me. I'm a. They're trying to cover up. Trying to dispute it. And when you uh, tell one lie, you got to tell a hundred more to keep up with that lie. I know that's right, Lucinda. Now, how, now, now, how long? How long will you uh, try to try to? You know, convince this person that you think he uncircumcised. Oh, I don't do. Un oh, you remember the first time, ladies, you saw a man that you were going to be intimate with who was uncircumcised? No, like my nigga, that was a lie. I'm gonna tell you why it was a lie. I'm gonna state. I'm gonna tell you what. I was like, because Timmy was circumcised. I can't. I don't know what to tell. Girl, she trying to get the video monetized. Yeah, I don't want to tell. I think he was African. My my first uncircumcised penis. <laughs> Excuse me. I went through a phase where I was like into African. They don't. I don't. They don't stay. But they. De I mean, I don't. The one I saw didn't stay. But it's gotta. They gotta clean that extra layer of skin. 
figured it all out. But you know, they definitely got to they got to keep it clean. You never had one. I don't think we finished the deed. I don't. I think I look. I was like, what are they going to do for me anyway? This ain't. I said this ain't. This ain't normal. This ain't normal. What you got in your panties is not panties is not normal, honey. I think he was African. Which one are you going to go after? He was definitely African. Okay, okay. First of all, and it was definitely huge, which is probably the real reason why I was like. <laughs> And I'm mad because you lied on me. I'm mad both ways. Mm. <laughs> so we can love it, the penis. Know. First of all, people get mad. Let me tell you what people get mad. And we can people get mad hate you the people penis. Them, Let's do a hate. You know what I'm saying? And you was trying to hide it. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want let's nobody do hate to and know. Purple. Nah, you know let's do hate. But when that truth come out, <laughs> then you pissed off. You're like, oh, I can't believe. You know, Martina, you know I was saying? like. I was intrigued with him. I was intrigued with the Africans because, you know, of the language. (laughs) And child, at that time, I don't think I knew Africa was a continent. They was all the same to me. Kenyan. South South Africa. Zimbabwe. I was just like, oh, you from Africa? I swear my niece is just like me. Niece, if you watch this, you know you okay, like Africa. Now, man, because why, why you do that? Yeah, I did it. But, but African men, it's, I'm mad I got let me turn Miss Lynn down yeah, for a minute. African men, they are so African, they are so culturally different than us. Yes, it's like a little turtleneck. They are so culturally different than us that it's really hard, difficult to be in a relationship with them as American women. It is, it is. And it's, it's nothing to do with them. They're, they're great men, I guess, but they're just so culturally different than we are. So I knew I couldn't, you know, take them home and try to make a real relationship out of an African situation, but just because they just so, they're di- culturally different. Okay, back to Miss Lynn. My best friend is married to an African. Did she learn how to make his foods and all that stuff? Because they want to eat that food. They want to eat that, honey. They want to eat all that food. and They're hard workers and all that, but just different. They are very different, controlling. Yes, that's because they see the women as kind of not... You know, Beneath them, like they're the head. Okay, fine. We could think that way too in America that our men are the head of the household, but it's a different way. It's not like you're going to do what I say and how I say do it and that's it. That's controlling. Instead of let's talk about how we can resolve this issue, this problem. Just so many different cultural differences. I know a couple of people married to Africans too. And it, it 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 ain't easy, ha! Oh, y'all can't even see that, cause I don't know how to make this. Hold on, is this it? Oh snap! This is what I need to do. See this? Wait a minute. Look at this. I swear I'm an artist. Don't even know how to use my stuff. Ha! This one, a man don't got on your nerves. So a penis can come. You can love them or you can hate them. You can love them or you can hate them. You know, that's, that's, that's the balance, right? You can love them and love the things that they do, the way that they talk to you, the way that they love on you, the way that they want to take care of you. But then you do have those penises that are toxic, you know, that want to control you. Vicky Cha, I don't know. I'm listening to Miss Lynn's live and I'm drawing penises. That's all. So let me tell y'all something. You all know what I'm saying? All in the time, in the time while you praying, you know what I'm saying? You going to God, God, why me? Why did this happen to me? Why are these lives 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a lot can really hurt a person's career. It can hurt their, uh, 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 um, you know, what they got going their on. Their brand. Their brand. It takes a loss for that. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, people be talking about, well, just pray about it. Well, you praying about it, and we know God behind the scenes working it out. You know what I'm saying? But in that process of going through what it is that you got to go through, you feel in the way that you feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. While you're praying and while you're trying to have faith and while you're trying to believe, sometimes God let things go. On. You know, we, we, it, 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 some things that be a test. You know what I'm saying? We got to pass that test. If we don't pass that test, we're going to get another storm. All you know right, guys, saying? let's do one more. And then we're, I'm going to let you go. One more. Um, People that are, are you know, you can tell somebody, oh, okay. Let's, uh, we are manifesting uh, more positive penises oh, in this sector. Because I feel like a lot of these viewers and some of these content creators, women, don't have enough of this in their life. Good ones. Because you know, we know it's some bad ones out here. So I'm going to do one more penis. We're listening to Miss Lynn, kicking it with Lynn. Go over there, listen to her live. It's, it's pretty good. We all going to go through something. We all going to hurt. We, we got to figure out how we got to deal with it and pray through that. Storm. I think I'm leaving. I think I'm going to the casino, y'all. You can't tell everybody. Just pray about but it. But I got to sneak out the house because the penis you know that lives in here, he might try to. Where are you going? Out. Because when people are really going through something hard, you know what I'm saying? And they praying to God and like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on you. They go through what they're going through. We don't know what a situation is. You I don't know, know why this saying? is dark. Yes, always pray and trust and believe and have faith in God. But God does, he will, He moves in his own time. And sometimes you don't understand it. He allows things to happen. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. And another thing, people can't talk about it. So people would be like, no, nah, I don't want to talk. Like, what you mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, what you mean you don't want to talk? Like you don't want to talk it out, or you you, you want to go to war? Like you know what I'm saying? Like say situation. But you know what? It's not. It's some people that I even worth talking to. You already. Seen you ever meet a guy with a hook penis? Let's do that. See, Wait, let then, me think. That's why you. That's why you try to let talk it out, right? So then. It won't be no okay, disagreement on what am I. I want to do a hook penis. I want my finale to be a hook penis. Good night, Pam. Good night, Pam. Thank you for stopping by. I truly enjoyed you today. Thank you so much. A hook penis. What is a hook penis? Yeah, it's like a hook penis. Like it's like it's like a it's like a hook penis. Like 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 it's like their that the mindset, their whole conversation is that of a third and second grader. So why waste your time? Like I said, if some people just come for the mess. They built on being messy. You go, you go. I, I you know I would love to hear your testimony because we all got one. I got one too. Lee and I would love to share it with you. And I might share it on YouTube one day when God tells me to share my story. I, I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. You know, there's a lot of things in my past that I'm just not ready to talk about. Lynn, don't do it, girl. You know saying, but, They're going to drag you. I'm still here yet because of God. God has yeah, brought me a mighty long way. I'm not where I should be, but I'm not where I used to be. I'm no, no, still a work right. in progress. You know what I'm saying? But when I was going through what I was going through, my father was a preacher, y'all. He raised me up in the church. But while I was out there in my mess going through what I was going through, I know I created the situations that I got myself in, but I also knew how to fall to my knees and pray. But just because I pray don't mean that I'm going to get some instant relief. You understand what I'm That's saying? Right. Now I got to go through and suffer a little bit. I got to suffer and I got to go through what it is that I'm going to go through before that light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? And some people, when they go going through that darkness, they can't handle it. They don't, you know, some people don't have, they're not strong-minded. They're weak-minded and they can't deal with it. But you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But, you know, it takes a village. You know what I'm saying? When somebody going through something, they need a villain. They need a villain. Mm-hmm. So each person needs a villain because that's the only way they're going to make Destiny, it. Destiny, if you're so in this like, life. Had I been weak minded, I wouldn't be here right now talking to y'all. Call me. YouTube. I wouldn't. I've I never want to been talk a weak minded You know, my kids always tell me, Mom, I, you I, in I, here, I, Destiny? I admire your strength. I admire that the things that you went through, that I'm still here, here standing because I always. Thanks. I always had faith, and I knew that whatever I was going through wasn't going to be 
trouble don't last always. You know what I'm saying? It don't. I knew that it don't. One day that I was going to get up out of whatever it was that I was in. Man, so what was go, you in, girl? I had to go through it, y'all. I had to go through it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I learned through all of that. This is the hook. It has like a upper, it goes upper in the mid shaft. It goes up. This is like a damn peanut. What's up, Kicking Willie? Hey, Lala. Hold on. I don't want to hear no more of you or real talk with me testimony. Y'all be feeling how the cap cry. Like stop doing Aww. that. Like stop. I supposed to be this gangster, and y'all got to be up there. Boy, stop, Captain. You are not a gangster. Oh, so God. stop. They finna had a cap cry. Oh Lord, I don't mess <laughs> up. Let me let me let me read her. I, I, listen, I'm gonna comment on Cap in a minute. Let me see. I went to the almost for four degrees and letters behind my name. Almost four soldier, but God. Cook when penis. the morning came, I was so God to help me to see this. Glory, and he did. Oh, and won't he do it? But let me tell you something. I went from walking the street, didn't know where I was going to lay my head at night. Mm. I didn't have a dime to my name. Mm. And scrounged up. I scrounged up about, I don't know, about 30 cents. Go want to get one of them little Debbie cat, snake cats that I had to share with somebody. Mm. So listen, I, you know, I got a testimony too, but, oh, but I, 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 listen, y'all, I walked around here probably way, uh, I'm just saying. Mm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's what sound like drugs. But God, but God, God saved us. I'm still here because I, there's a reason why I'm still here. There's mm. a reason why you're still here, Lee. God has blessed you. You you got work to do. You know what I'm saying? He has something for you to do now. Well, I don't know. You know, I don't want to speak on it. Not done with you yet. He's not done with you yet. He's not done with me yet. I'm still here. After mm. many a times I should be gone, y'all. Many mm, a times man. I should have my mess. Y'all just don't know. That's why I be telling people on YouTube, don't come for me. Don't come for me because you'll make me be that old wind that I don't want to be again. And I won't have to go back there because this is here. I didn't I didn't fall too hard to get to where I'm at today. That's right. Okay, to live this glorious, wonderful life that I'm living today. I didn't Look always have it like this. Now I always had it good because I had good parents and I came from somewhere. Right. But when I left their house, I chose to go a different path. Right. I got mm -hmm. with the wrong people. I did some stuff that I shouldn't have done. That was on me. Oh, yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> All that was on me. I, made no, I can't blame nobody but myself. But I went through what I went through. You understand what I'm saying? And I learned something from it. But And I wouldn't want nobody, not my worst enemy, to go through anything that I I, I went through. Guns pulled out on me. Pulled, I, I was going to die, y'all. They was going to throw me in a river. Oh, God, let no. But God. But, but because I'm street smart, and I got some books in, and all of that, I, I'm... Got your way up out of it. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get off in all that, you know, but Leah. What would y'all do if y'all was about to lay down with a penis? He had all the attributes. Good man. Good communicator. Generous. And then he had, not only did he have a hook penis, he had a growth on it. He had some sort of growth. Maybe I could help them and educate them and talk to them not to go down that path that I went through. With the meaning okay. of my life, you know, he I'm had a growth. That I made. He had some and odd walking around here growth uh, on his penis. Uh, ding, ding, ding. He didn't what it's know about. what it was. Yeah. That's what it's about. The this doctors is, is, didn't know what it was. Having to, having to walk around here, look over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? There Wonder, is. Well, what, am I gonna live today? Yes, this is a new one. This yeah, is a hook penis. That's why I be telling people don't come for He's a good no, man. He's a wonderful man, but he has a weird growth, a growth on his penis. He's he's great. He's wonderful. Everything is good, except for this. My point is, nobody's gonna be perfect. There's not a perfect penis in this world. Okay, never seen one like that. This is a hook. This is a hook penis. But this guy has perfect in every way except he has this flaw. My point is nobody's going to be perfect. You're never going to find a perfect penis. You're never. But you might find one with, you know, a little weird thing here. That's okay. You can live with it. 
Yes. Nobody's perfect. When I come out of this test, I'm gonna have to so in conclusion, let me turn Ms. Lindo down because I'll be back into that. In conclusion, this video was brought to you. I've seen a couple of hooks. I know. This this video was brought to you about, wait, brought to you for, brought to you again, <laughs> the power of the penis. The power of the penis. We definitely need more penis in this be love sector. More positive men. We have a few. We have a few positive men um, that hold women accountable for their mess. Also uplift women. They don't tear women down, you know, in their commentary and, you know, in the comment section. And then we have some men bitches. We got some men bitches. I call them men bitches. And you will find them in your comment section. Oh, I got a couple right now, and I'm I, all I can do is, you know, it depends on my mood. I either cuss them out, I pray for them, or I I go I go crazy on them. Cause the fact that you even in this sector, like, and really like commentating and doing all what you do, tells me a lot about you. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. So we have several men bitches, and maybe they. Damn it, I just figured this out. Some of the men, the shady ass men that are in this sector that comment and belittle women and talk crap. And I ain't even talking about comment. I'm not talking about content creators. I'm talking about in the comment section. They might need some of this. They may need this. I just thought about that. They need a good hook penis in their life, a penis in general. <laughs> Because they got way too much time, way too much time on their hands. Anywho, everyone have a great evening. It's 10 o'clock here, my time. And I think I'm about to hit the streets, honey. Thanks to Monique, I can't wear this bonnet outside. I got to go put on a hat. And I'm going to finish listening to Miss Lynn. But everyone have a Wonderful, great evening and a great weekend. Uh, bye. Bye. -bye.